guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all doing well so as you can probably tell by what i sound like and look like i have literally just woken up five minutes ago um this is mary without a coffee completely fresh out of bed so yeah i'm tired but today i am going to do a very much requested i don't know why i've not done one of these before um what i eat in a day it's nothing exciting, I'll warn you all in advance. Um, but just like a generic thing, what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna do it today. First of all, first thing is first, a coffee. I always start off with a coffee. So I have a coffee, instant coffee, and then I have Weetabix, mini Weetabix. I use this coffee, Americano Intense. If there was a stronger one, I would 100% get it. I think there is a stronger one. But it doesn't sell it in the co-op where I do the food shop now. Sweeteners. I have two sweeteners. Soy, no sugar. I normally get the soy light. However, I've changed from going to Asda to doing my food shop at the co-op. Because there's a really big co-op just next to me. And it's really good. It's not like a little co-op. It's a big co-op. So I do the full food shop there. And they don't sell soy light. They only sell this one. But I think it's pretty much the same. So. Oh. <sighs> Forever coffee. I'm really sorry guys, like honestly, before I have a coffee in the morning, there's no speaking to me. I feel not alive. I've 100% got an addiction to coffee, a million percent, because I actually feel like I can't function until I've, once I've had that sip of coffee, fine. Right, so, in my mug, you know, you all know how to make coffee, but obviously this is what I eat in there, so I'm going to tell you. I do a huge heat and a half of this. Like one one heat. You see that? And then another half of heat. Yeah, I know. I need coffee on the morning. So that two sweeteners. And then shake up my milk. I do that because Ariana used to make like coffee coffees at first and I used to live with them. So when I used to wake up at Ari's, she would already been awake for three hours, just waiting for me to wake up. So then she'd be like, do you want coffee? Do you want coffee? And I used to be like, how do you get your coffee so frothy? This is how. Shake some up. Should I then put quite a bit into the fair. Not, I would say like, this deep. This is how much milk I put in and I stir it like this so it's really frothy and then I'll just add the milk. That's Mary's barista lesson for you all just to kick start the YouTube video. I think they're amazing coffees if I do say so myself so I think you all will too. Look my coffee and wacky straw in and Bob's your uncle. Coffee it made. Most important thing of the day, coffee, number one. Um, I also bought the other day milk frother and I really love it. It's great. I'm really excited about it. I've wanted to get a milk frother for a while because then I can make matches. Um, and obviously like I was obsessed with matches last year so much, but I was at my mum and dad's. They have a full blown mega coffee machine, which is great, but I don't want to get one here because there's not really enough room on the sideboards for it. I don't want it. Theirs is really big. So anyway, I bought a milk frother and it seems to be amazing. So I actually will maybe start using making coffees with the milk frother. But I was thinking, do you really put milk frothing milk with instant coffee? I don't think so. Because obviously it makes like an espresso shop mom and dad's coffee machine. Then you add the frothed milk. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be making coffees with the, froth with the milk frother. Fucking hell, that's hot. But, great, I just love it. Hmm. Anyway, anywho, moving on. My actual breakfast, I'm actually starving. Um, I have, I've told you all this in YouTube before, but, um, I'm gonna show you again because I have it every single morning without fail. I have these Weetabix crispy minis, um, and I have 40 
grams. So I've just measured them out now on my scales. I also do use my fitness pal to track all my food because then it's just easy. I can work out what I can have. So basically at the minute I am eating 1,500 calories a day. Um, and always trying to make sure I hit 110 grams of protein. Um, I'm not like tracking my carbs or my fats really at the minute. Obviously, I'm not going to be taking the piss having everything else out of them calories as carbs. But before I used to be really strict, I'm like, oh my god, I'm only like 20 grams of carbs and I'd just be tired all the time, so it's ridiculous. So yeah, this 40 grams of crispy mini wheat mix and then whack some milk over the top. There you have it. You've got your breakfast. I use a little spoon to eat my wheat bix um, because they just like one perfectly fits on one spoon. Mm. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. So after I've eaten this, my coffee, I'll be a lot more awake. I can already feel myself I've woken up a lot more since I started this YouTube. It's because of the coffee. The magic portion. I was going to do like a vlog today, but I feel like I'm just going to keep it to what I eat in a day because I get requested that video so much and, you know, people probably just don't want to see me. They just want to see what I eat. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet and just really show you my meal times and my snack times, which to be fair is quite a lot. Probably would have been quite a long vlog. So, hmm. I'm gonna go and eat my dinner. My dinner? I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast. Then I'll catch up with you and have a snack in about an hour. Hi guys, I'm back. It is probably like an hour and a half later. I have done some steps on my treadmill. Oh my god, I've not showed YouTube my treadmill. Oh my god, I need to show you this treadmill. So did I say it in a vlog that I was getting it and I didn't it hadn't come yet? I can't remember, but basically. I need to get 15,000 steps a day, which is really hard. No, it's actually, it's actually 10,000 steps, but I'm going to do 15,000 steps because I've got a really big shoot in a month and I need to lose weight. Anyway, so it was, was really struggling to get the 10,000 steps. Now I'm going to up it to 15 um, because that's a lot of steps, really. Like, it is a lot of steps. Anyway, so I ordered a treadmill for in my house, <laughs> or my apartment. It is the best thing in the world. It's just like behind my sofa. My sofa's not here yet, guys, but it is hopefully coming next week for sure. So yeah, it's just gonna hide behind my sofa all the time and you can't see it. And then I can just walk on the treadmill and watch TV. So like whenever I was sat chilling watching TV, like on a morning after I've had my breakfast, I watch Good Morning or like after my tea, after my lunch, I just jump on there for a little 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you, it's really cool. I know this is an eating vlog, but this needed to be shown. Look at this. So literally, I've just seen it behind myself. Obviously, when my sofa comes, it's bigger, so it's fully going to be hidden. And you just, like, switch it on. And then I just, like, literally walk on it here. How cool is that? I mean, I think you could run, but obviously, I'm not about to start running in my house because that is actually taking the piss. To be fair, I do actually think it is a little bit taking the piss anyway, the fact that I've got a treadmill when there is a gym downstairs in my building. However, when I go downstairs to have like a full on walk in the gym downstairs, like that's like, I've got to do it all in one. This just means that I can just do it here and there. And before I know it, oh my God, Mary's hit 15,000 steps. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So it's the best thing in the world that I bought. Um, you're all gonna have to where it's from. It's from that home fitness, I think it's called. Um, just if you just type on that home treadmill, that will come up and the best thing ever. Um, but back to the, the, the eating situation, it is half past 12. So, it's actually been ages since my breakfast, hasn't it? Anyway, it's been it's half past 12 and I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm not hungry enough. And, well, I am hungry enough for lunch, but I've actually got some stories to film. So I can't have lunch just yet. So every day without fail, I have... I have a Kit Kat. So these are actually really not even fat in. The 104 calories in a Kit Kat. I really wish it was a Kit Kat chunky with peanut butter, but I'm trying to be good. But then I just feel like I'm having a real good snack every day. So yeah, I'm gonna have this. I'm actually gonna make another. Do I want another coffee? No, I'm not gonna have another coffee. Um yeah, I'm gonna have a Kit Kat and 
here's my water i didn't say it. i try my best to drink four liters of water a day probably don't get there to be honest if i'm honest with you um i definitely would drink three so every day i have one of these evians i have I need to go to the shop because I've actually run out. I have one of these every day. I have like, a, from the co-op, they do like a litre bottle of flavoured water, but it's got no sugar. So I'm gonna go get some now because I've run out of that. Um, Cause that's just really easy to drink. Like it's obviously really nice. So that's one and a half. Then I have the one litre of the co-op flavoured water. And then I have like two Rubicons a day, which I've also run out of. I've just had one to be honest, and I forgot to show you. Um, the orange flavoured Rubicons is my favourite drink ever. I'm obsessed with them. So, and it's literally like water as well, I guess. So, yeah. That's what I drink. And we obviously like two coffees, three coffees. If I'm gonna shoot four coffees, but yeah, Kit Kat. Are the best snack. Period. Absolutely love them. And I do have one every single day. I've got like a massive pack of them in my cupboard. And yeah, what's the time? It's half past 12. I've done 4,000 steps already. And I'm enjoying my Kit Kat. So I need to just quickly film some Instagram stories. This is my natural hair, by the way. I feel like it's quite long, isn't it? Um, I need to film some Instagram stories and then I'm gonna go to the shop, get some food, drink, stock up, and carry on this eating vlog. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm back from the shop. Um, basically just drinks that I got and a pepper, I need that for my lunch. So this is the water I was on about, I get from the co-op. It is strawberry and kiwi flavor, one litre, and they're just so easy to drink because I love them. So yeah, I love them there. I've got some watermelon chunks, they'll be nice to have later. Watermelon as well has literally like got nothing in it, so they're really good to have. Um, as a little snack, obviously my soy milk I ran out this morning. Oh, I'm probably gonna treat myself to another coffee. Then my favorite drink, these, I've already had one today. So these have got seven calories in, and they're like, it's it's sparkling water, but basically, but orange and mango flavor, so they're so good. If you're like struggling to get your water in, like me. Um, more water. And then, Another favourite snack of mine, jellies. The 10 calorie jellies are the absolute best. I love them so much. So I stick up and stock them in them. I must have like one, at least one of them a day or two. The only thing is they're not actually that filling. Like, I feel like it just helps you thinking that you're eating something. Raspberries, great snack. Um, then yeah, really just more drinks. I got through them so fast. And this is my favorite one. My waters. <laughs> the shopping bags are always so heavy and it's not even food, it's literally just drinks. Jellies, 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 jellies. And then I got new protein bars because they didn't have my, my normal ones in stock, which is quite stressful. Um, and I'll have the full fill bars. But the co-op and has been sold out of them for so long. So I got the grenade carb killers. And I've also got this one. But I feel like this is probably going to be really high in calories. But I'm going to scan it. My protein layered treat without the cheat. Chocolate sundae. I'm going to scan it on my fitness pal now. And see what that's saying. Um, because I really wanted one of them today. So... If you haven't got my fitness pal, by the way, guys, as well, best thing ever. So easy to track things with. Um, so you just go on. Where was it? Let's pray. So normally, a full fill, full fill protein bar, and only 148 calories, 15 grams of protein. So let's see. The bad news. 
So these are 219 grams of protein, no, 219 calories, but they are 20 grams of protein. So, not the end of the world. What's the, what's the, um, what's them ones? The carb killing ones. We definitely don't kill carbs. That's a lie. Um, they're 250. They're probably the best ones. Maybe I'll have one of these today. I want to try a new one. I want to try a new one. Okay. I'm not having them right now anyway, but um and there. So yeah, for my lunch today, I have really got in a habit at the minute of having chicken wraps. I just love them so much. So I'm going to make that now. Um and yeah, let me start making it. So get my scales. I need to get a pan to go on the wash. One thing about me, which probably is not what you're supposed to do, obviously I don't use that many like cutlery or whatever, but I can't stand a dirty dishwasher. Like it actually knocks me sick. So I put it on every single night, which probably is not good for the environment. Although I do put it on eco, the setting eco. Um, because I just hate having mucky things in the dishwasher. You know when you get that smell from the dishwasher? Ugh. Grim. Um, so yeah, I use this Fry Light, best thing ever, extra virgin olive oil. And they do like sunflower oil. No, 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 but I only have this one. So I'm gonna put that in there. Then, chicken breast fillets. I am going to have, let me check my fitness pal what I put in. Hundred and fifty grams of chicken. I actually fucking hate chopping up chicken. It knocks me sick. Like I know you can get the pre-cut ones, but in the co-op they don't sell it. Um, so it knocks me sick touching chicken. But it is what it is. So yeah, chop this up. And obviously my pan, I just put it on top of my scales so I can measure one hundred and fifty grams. I think it's more or less like one chicken breast. Or is it two? I can't remember. We'll see. We'll see if we find out. Um, the got through chicken legs going out of fashion, I must admit. Not, not really great for veggies, but I'm not a vegetarian. I apologise. If you are, this channel's not vegetarian. I'm afraid. Um, I would definitely like to try being like vegetarian. No, I couldn't be, the thing is with me, I couldn't be vegetarian, I couldn't do it, but I could maybe, I could definitely be pescatarian. So in COVID, when we was like at home all the time, I actually did become, I just ate um, fish, but then I watched Sea Spiracy or whatever it was called and that put me off fish. So then I went back to chicken now I just like eat a bit of both. I used to actually get, I was really good at making, at eating corn at one point, but I just not really cook it. But that may be something that I should look at because I used to really like corn. Um, and it actually does taste quite like meat. Like it's weird when you put the season on and stuff. So maybe that's something I'm gonna look at eating corn. But you had to have a lot of it to get the same portion of like chicken, say. Um, wash my hands again, that's disgusting. My chicken's chopped up which is great, the job's disgustingly done. Then I'm gonna put red pepper in there. So probably like half a pepper, I'd say. A big knife, a big pepper. That's a really big pepper, look at the size of that pepper. I actually do quite enjoy cooking, you know. I don't really mind it at all. So I just chop it up into just like little chunks. I do actually have frozen veg in a lot of the time, but that's from, that's Asda that has that. And I haven't been going to Asda recently, I've been going to co-op. Um, but that's actually so much easier. And when you live by yourself, it's actually so much better because you don't throw half the pepper away every single day, which is like, that's what I was doing at one point. I've just bought a fresh pepper now. Um, but because I've just run out of like the frozen veg like two days ago. But it is so much better when you live by yourself just to get the frozen ones because then you just like pour as much in as you want and you're good to go. I actually, I'm gonna put frozen onions in. So, Gordon Ramsay herself. 
chop up my peppers like that, put them in. Do I want more than that? I think that could be okay. Like, what are you supposed to do with the pepper now? Throw it away? That's what always confuses me. I just think it's such a waste. I'm throwing away like half a pepper a day. Can you keep them in the fridge? I'm just not sure on that. Um, maybe I'll try to keep it in the fridge, but I normally do throw it away. My frozen onions, diced onions, and I just put like a few on top. I'll show you. So yeah, it looks like that. Probably about that much onions, that much peppers, that much chicken. Then obviously I'm going to cook that. Also, I put this on literally everything in the world. The Nando's Perry rub, I put it on like chicken, I put it on fish, I put it on everything. <laughs> Definitely aren't supposed to do that. However, my mum does it and I do it now. It's the best thing season ever. So I'm just going to put that over everything. So I have a nice little nando's style chicken wrap. I'm supposed to be showing you this, aren't I? As you can see, I'm not a cooking expert. Right, push it up. So yeah, I'm just going to put some of that over there. Like that. And then mix it all in as it's cooking. Probably put, I'll probably add some more of that, to be honest. Yeah, switch the hob on. That would be a great start. Whilst that is cooking, I am going to make myself another coffee of the day. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all how to make my coffee again because you'll be sick of me. And it is actually just an instant coffee, so I don't really know why I give you the full in-depth detail of how I do it this morning. But obviously... I'm going to, every time I go to eat something or drink something, I am, well, no, maybe not drink, but every time I go to eat something, I am going to tell you. So coffee is kind of like a, it's not a food, but do you know what I mean? Like you definitely need to include that in your calories. Um, or do you need to include it in your calories? Anyway, regardless, I'm going to have a second coffee of the day because normally I would have had two by now, but when I had my Kit Kat, I just didn't want one because I had a Rubicon. So yeah, I'm going to have a coffee. I really do find it hilarious that people want to know what I eat in a day um, when I'm probably the worst cook in the world and I'm going on like I'm bloody Gordon Ramsay when I'm just making instant coffees and having a chicken wrap. But, you know, you want to know, so here it is. You can hear the, the pan is sizzling away. Practically Gordon Ramsay at this point. Don't forget to shake the milk, shake the milk, shake the milk. How many steps am I on now? Five thousand steps now. So I'll have my dinner, then do a little walk, twenty minutes on the treadmill, half an hour to put my make my food go down. It's the best thing I've ever got. Right, so I'm thinking my chicken is literally finished. I'm gonna stink because I'm not having the extractor fan on, so that I can speak to because it's too loud when it's on. So yeah, that's, I normally would have the extractor fan on. So I just use, everything that I'm using is from the co-op as well, just to point out. So co-op bakery, eight white tortilla wraps. I'm just going to use one of them. I love a chicken wrap. Turn this off now. It's definitely finished. Um, they're really nice and big as well, which is good. So obviously there is actually quite, there's quite a bit of food going in. I'm going to wrap down like so. Then... A beautiful cooked chicken. I feel like I need someone that over me like they do on Good Morning when they cook. So my beautifully cooked chicken, onions and peppers. I really need somebody else here today helping me do this. It's really difficult. I'm just going to put that into the wrap. I finish it off with some Hellman's Light Mayo. Ari actually told me there's lighter than light or something. I need to go get that, but they don't sell that in the co-op. Because um, apparently that's even less colour is. I just do like a drizzle of that over the top. Like so. Like this. And then I'm going to wrap it up and eat it. Perfect. So yeah, I'm going to go eat it. Have my coffee and keep on drinking the Evian. I'm not doing that great on it so far, so I need to hurry up and drink that. Heck, I'm here. This is just going to be the whole thing. I haven't really moved you, so it's just going to be me coming in and out that will look like it's back to back, but it has actually been like hours since the last time I checked in. So I'm going to jump off. It's a bit hot in here. Why did I do that for hot in here? Anyway, it's now five o'clock. 
I don't have my tea until like eight. So I've still got a few more hours yet. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I really want a jelly. I can't stop thinking about a jelly. So yeah, I'm gonna have a jelly. Then probably in like at like half six, I'll probably have a protein bar and then have my tea and then I've got yogurt and fruit Ooh, to finish with. So I get the raspberry 10 calorie yogurts and they're just the best things ever. Just especially, oh my God, I got my matcha spoon out. Especially when you're just fancying like a little snack. Um, these are really good. So yeah, this is my jelly. It's five o'clock, what did I say, five o'clock. Jelly's hard to eat, like, on camera. I'm not gonna eat it on camera, but yeah, obviously I'm just filling you in for my snack. One of my many snacks that I had throughout the day. These lovely jelly pots. Someone said to me the other day, Mary, you always dance when you eat him. And it's true, I do. It's when I'm happy, I always do moves. Like I dance like this, really bad dancing. But ever since I pointed it out, I've realized every time I'm like eating, I always go a little dance because it's because I'm happy and I'm happy when I'm eating. So yeah, jellies make me happy and do a dance. I do a, I do a food dance. Or actually I'm weird. I'm getting weirder. As more time goes by and I spend more time by myself in my apartment, I'm losing it. I'm dancing over jellies. What the fuck? So yeah. But the moral of the story is I like jellies and a really good snack. Hi people. So it's just a little bit later on. Um, this is gonna be so funny because it's gonna seem like it's back to back, but it's actually not. And I'm sorry if it's really boring, but you just wanted to know what I eat, so I don't know what else to tell you. Um, but I'm just remembering I need to nip out somewhere. So I'm going to have a protein bar and take it with me in the car. So this is the one that I bought earlier. Oh my extension show. This is the one that I bought earlier called the My Protein Layered Treat Without the Treat. No, Treat Without the Cheat Chocolate Sunday Protein Bar. And I'm gonna take a bottle of sparkling water with me because I always feel like when you've got a bottle, you drink it all. So yeah, this is gonna keep me up on the water for it. I'm definitely gonna hit my water today. Well, water slash Rubicons. I actually decided to eat it here before I left. So I've had one bite of it. And um, I would say it's not as nice as the full fill. My camera's so skewed with right now, but you just got to go with it. Um, it's not as nice as the full fill ones, this. It's very like, the, the full fill ones are actually like I'm having a chocolate bar. These are very like, I can tell it's protein. I can tell it's a protein bar. Not a chocolate bar. Well, really, the co-op not having full, fab, full fill bars in stock is wasting me like another 20, 70 calories for nothing. You win some, you lose some, you really do. And today I lost with this. But it's still nice. It's just very protein powdery, you know what I mean? Definitely recommend you all to just get the full fill bars that I normally have. Very chewy. I need a drink. Very dry. So nice. Just not the full fill bars. My order would go full, 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 what is it fucking called? Full fill bar. It's a mouthful. Then the grenade bars, then this. This is bottom of the ranking. But overall, still 7 out of 10. Hey, right, beautiful people, we are on to the last stretch of the day. We're on to dinner. We've got dinner left and we've got one more snack. I don't know how boring this has been, whether you've I've lost you yet, but if you're still here, it's tea time. Do you say tea or dinner? I actually would say dinner time. Dinner time or tea time? I say both. I say both, and then lunch is lunch. But some people call lunch dinner, don't they? Weird. Anyway, moving on. Um, 
I'm kind of a bit hungry now. I'm not going to lie to you. Back in with the fry light. Put fry light in everything. I actually don't have anything else in my house that I could use. I could probably use butter, but obviously it's not good for you. So, spray that. Then, tonight for my tea, I'm going to have chicken. Mixed vegetable stir fry with soy sauce. One of my favourite meals in the world ever. So I actually used half of this last night, but this is the mixed veg stir, stir fry. So I'm gonna pop the rest of that in. So it's just the co-op mixed veg stir fry with chicken. For my dinner, I do have quite a lot more chicken than in the chicken wrap. Um, I'm going to have 250 grams of chicken, I think it is. Yeah, 250 grams. That sounds a lot, but then when you've actually got it in your dinner, it's really not a lot. Um, so yeah, it's like one and a half chicken breasts. And I feel like in a stir fry, it always shrivels up. Like it always gets smaller when I cook it. I don't know, I don't know why that is. So yeah, I'm just gonna measure that out. Um, other things that like I might have, like is like, I always on a night, to, to be fair, I'm chatting shit. I was just going to tell you a complete and utter lie if I think about it. Most nights I have Nando's, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I'm trying to cut them down because obviously I am being healthy. But Nando's isn't actually that bad for you at all. Like, I from Nando's I would get um, butterfly chicken, broccoli and rice. So really, like, it's not the worst meal in the world. You can have it on my diet. So, I do love Anandos. I've had three this week. I've had two. I think I've had two this week so far. Um, or, like, maybe, like, for my lunch sometimes, I would have um, tuna jacket potato. I try to stick to having my carby things through the day for my lunch. Um, I can't really see what's going on. I'm really funny with chicken. I actually throw away like half of the chicken because you know if it's got like any like f any bit in it that looks so not that good. You know like, ugh. I need to turn my lights on. Yeah like, do you know like when the chicken um, has like bits on it? Like every chicken breast has their bits, like the little ready bits. Ugh, grim, like it knocks me sick. So I end up throwing like half of the chicken away because if there's like a vein in it or something, that is not going in my cooking dish. So, yeah. But I'm pretty sure you're meant to do that. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to keep the ganji bits. Um, so what was I saying before that? Yeah, for my lunch I would have like tuna jacket potatoes. I would maybe have like tuna and rice. Um chicken and veg i have a lot i was gonna have it tonight actually but they didn't have it in the co-op i have mediterranean veg a lot um i love that that makes me so happy you just like buy it in a pack from the co-op and shove it in the oven and then i put it with chicken um at the minute i'm having actually a lot of chicken if i think about it i'm gonna put it all in at the same time the chicken's cut up and then i'm just gonna put the rest of this in so i'll tell you how much that is That is 175 grams of this, which I think is more or less half a packet. So that's worked out great. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to put that on. I cook everything in the pan. I don't really oven cook anything other than the Mediterranean vegetables. Because they come like in a micro, in an oven dish. Um, so I'm going to put that on now. Then when I can see it's a little bit cooked, whap over the soy sauce here i have light soy sauce but i don't think it's anything to do with the calories there's dark soy sauce and light soy sauce i think it's just i'm not actually sure what the color what it is because it's the same color oh it's the same color so i'm actually really not sure why there's light and dark soy sauce um but there definitely is but i always just get the light one because in my head it's it's better for you but it's probably nothing to do with that um so yeah I'm gonna whack that on afterwards. And then that's my tea. I love this tea, it's so easy. My cooking is actually very fast. I think I like fast things. Like if I was having to stand there for an hour, sometimes my mum makes some dinners and I think, oh Jesus Christ. Like, she takes hours. 
You know, people make everything from scratch. I'm not one of them people. In the veg packet, there is cabbage, carrot, bean sprouts, peppers, and onion. So that's what's in this packet. All cut up, chicken, soy sauce. Name me a better dinner. Well, <laughs> that was so stupid to say. There's so many better dinners than that. But it's a nice one for when you're on a diet. So yeah, I've had a good day today, guys. I've actually drunk quite a lot of water. Just drunk that sparkling water. That's a point. I always seem to drink this when it's my tea. So I do put this in a, in a glass. Um, but I just, it's just so easy to drink when it's flavoured because it just tastes so much better. So yeah, while that is cooking, while my chicken's cooking, I'm going to pour myself a nice wine, i.e. co-op strawberry and kiwi flavour. I wish I was having a wine. But I'm actually going to try and not have a, I'm going to try have a month of not drinking because when I drink, I went out last weekend, On the, I was hung over Sunday, then on the Monday I feel like shit and it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. On Sunday I felt really down. And I knew it was a hangover. So I've decided to just not drink for like a month, maybe. Just get myself really back on track. Because as well, when you feel shit on a Monday, it ruins your whole week. It like, you don't start your week until Tuesday. And it's just not good for anyone. So I'm not going to drink for a month. Say that, probably I'm going to drink. I'm going to try my best not to. So yeah, cheers. It's a Friday night. I'm on the strawberry and kiwi. Woo! You can see it's more or less cooked because I like to be able to see that I can see the chicken is cooked. And then I'm just going to add quite a bit of soy sauce. The soy sauce isn't actually that many, but it's not really. I'm going to put that in the And then just stir that in for like another few more minutes. It doesn't look that nice, but it is honestly really appetizing, I promise. And yeah. I'm going to wait for that to just fully cook and then serve it up in a dish and that is my dinner. Maybe I might add some salt and pepper as well. The perfect dinner. That looks great. It smells unreal and it's still healthy. It's still in my calories, which is great. So I'm going to put that in a bowl now or a dish. And then eat it at dinner. This fucking hob, something going on in my hob today. My neighbours as well, I like them. I've met my neighbours and they're really nice. But I don't see them that often. And every time I do see them, I forget to tell them. My extractor van keeps turning on and off um, all the time. Like when I'm not pressing it. And at first I thought, oh my God, there's a ghost. But there's not a ghost, it's a new build. I spoke to my friend about it who also lives in here, and she said that apparently the engineers have said that when the, like we're clicking, because the extract fans on a remote, when we're clicking, I think sometimes it can do the next door neighbours. So sometimes, and it happens quite a lot, it's happened so much times today, they must have been clicking it, thinking, why is it not working? But it's also clicking mine on. So if my neighbours watch my YouTube channel, if you're ever clicking your extractor fan and it's not turning on, Turning mine on, it happens quite a lot. But every time I've seen them, I forget to sell them. So if you watch my YouTube, yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat my dinner because it's now burning and start editing this YouTube and then I'll just show you my last snack of the night. And then that's what I eat in a day. Probably the most boring video in the world. I'm so sorry if you've actually watched all this way through. I'm actually really sorry because I'm also not Gordon Ramsay. It probably this actually will be the most repetitive vlog in the world i'm really sorry for that but it is a bit later now i've been on the phone to ariane for ages and oh my god i need to get my steps in um still but i need to edit this youtube video because i want it to be up for you tomorrow morning so ari was like mary put your treadmill under the like breakfast bar let me show you how i'm about to edit this youtube video for you all let me show you this is how I'm going to edit it. By walking here, typing here. What? That's commitment to YouTube, I'm sorry, but. I might just walk at a very slow pace, but as long as I'm moving, as long as I'm getting them steps in, we're on to a winner. 
Um, but last thing of the night that I'm gonna eat, because it's quite late now, it's like half past nine. I actually um I'm still a little bit peckish and I have actually got quite a lot of calories left. So I'm going to have this yogurt, Onkern yogurt, zero percent fat, and raspberries, because raspberries are my favourite. So I'm gonna have a hundred grams of the yogurt and then 100 grams of raspberries. Raspberries go down so fast. They're not big enough. Oh, I've got my spoon in the thing. Oh God, fucking hell. Nice. Oh yeah, this is gonna be my last snack of the evening. Yogurt and raspberries and yeah. I'm just dropping another rubber home. I've drunk my water, so that's great. I've drunk four litres today, which is amazing. The flavoured ones are just so easy to drink. Mmm. Mmm. That is gorgeous. So, I'm not going to eat it on camera because it's not as rude to talk with your mouth full. But, that is more or less what I eat in a day, guys. I try to stick to 1,500 calories and hit like 110, 120 grams of protein and then the rest just like fill it in. I know that you should be trying to stick to carbs and fats or whatever, but I feel like, I've just got yogurt on my face. I feel like I don't like take the mick with the carbs. I think it's still okay to say how active I am. So yeah, that is my what I eat in a day video. It's been much requested. I'm sorry it's so boring. I'm not, not claiming to be a chef by any means. I'm so sorry that you probably was thinking I was going to have some mad nutritional crazy diet and it's uh, quite frankly not. Um, but yeah, that is what I eat in a day. I just vary between different meals that I mentioned. But more or less, I have that. At the, at the minute, I've been having that every single day. So yeah, if you want an easy diet, easy cooking life, that is it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Especially if you got through to the end because it probably is very, very boring. I'm probably going to be falling asleep editing it now. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.